Okay, today's lovely project is going to take one cup of extra tough multi-purpose cleaner and we're going to put it into three gallons of water. I'm going to put it into the steam cleaner and I'm going to clean this carpet. So I am going to give you a view of what this carpet looks like, then I'm going to stop the video, clean the carpet, and give you an after. Okay, this is using a rug doctor that I rented from Home Depot. This carpet fiber looks like this. Okay. Give some lovely moments here. All right, see how stained that is? Whew, that's bad stuff there. You can see this big stain right here. Excuse me, there's my finger. <laughs> see that? Goes all the way around. Whee! How about that lovely piece? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> this carpet's really, really bad. So this is one cup of extra tough into the steam cleaner. After I'm done, I'm going to do a vinegar rinse, and then I'm going to do a final rinse with water. But you can see how ground in this dirt is. That looks kind of light on camera, but it really isn't. It's, it's more more dark like what you see when I pull back. Um, there's a lot of um, traffic dirt that's just kind of been in ground in this. So I'm going to kind of pan slowly here because I know I'm walking a little fast. So you get a really good view of what this looks like. Okay. And this is the carpet machine that I rented from Home Depot. Here's the extra tough multi-purpose cleaner. I'm going to put one cup of extra tough into the three gallons of water and I'm going to clean this carpet. Okay, here is my very first pass. Okay, here is my second pass. Here is the third pass. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit while I do the rest of the carpet so it can um, have a little bit of time to work. And then we're going to make a fourth pass and we're going to see how well it turns out. <laughs> There's, that's pretty massive there. That's incredible. Okay, over here in this hallway, I'm going to make one pass. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, this is pass number one. This is pass number two. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. This is one cup of extra tough into three gallons of water and a rug doctor. Okay, this is pass number three. Okay, we're going to try this area where we have this really dark stain. Okay, this is the first pass. Right there was that dark stain. Okay, I started to run out of solution in my um, machine, so I'm going to have to fill it back up. Okay, this was uh, starting the one pass. This is where that big blob was a few seconds ago. You can see as, as I ran out of solution. Um, the difference in the carpet pattern. So I'm going to continue that one pass and show you what it looks like. Okay, so that completes our one pass. I'm going to do another pass. Okay, this is our second pass. You almost cannot even tell where that blob was. It's so faint. Okay, this is the third pass. This is one cup of extra tough into three gallons of water in a rug doctor. 
Okay, so now we're gonna focus. We're gonna do a pass right here to this middle section. I'm gonna pan slowly so you can just see how dirty it is. I will show you pass one, two, and three. Okay, this is pass number one. Using one cup of extra tough to three gallons of water and a rug doctor. Okay, this is pass number two. And this is pass number three. I think it's safe to say that one cup of extra tough to three gallons of water and a rug doctor are extremely productive together. And I think I'm gonna say that if you own some rental houses and your carpet looks like this, instead of replacing it, you can buy a gallon of this stuff and pretty much keep using it until the carpet just is so worn out it can't stand itself anymore and save a whole lot of money instead of replacing a bunch of carpet and rental houses. This is unbelievable. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on this section. Okay, I just wanna show you the amount of dirt that is being pulled out of this carpet right now. That is nasty. Okay, this is pass number two. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this carpet. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, I've taken some before pictures. I will post this on the Georgia Meltex Facebook page. I'll show you the before and the after. And then of course I will video the after. Okay, and there's that little hallway down there. Okay, I'm gonna give you a short little update of the progress of what we've done with this carpet so far. This is one cup of extra tough to three gallons of water. Okay, here's this little hallway area. Um, I'm gonna see how well this turns out. This is this is pretty bad. It's pretty in ground. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be some shading that's going to be left inside of that, but we'll see how clean we can get it. So here's a view of the carpet. I have um, done several passes. You can see in some of the heavier places where it was completely black, it still has a little bit of staining. Um, and part of that is just the wear in the carpet itself. So if you see this spot down here, it's not really a spot. Can you see how it's actual damage to the carpet? So when I pull this away, you can it looks like it's dirty, <laughs> right? But it's not, it's just that the carpet itself um, is tore up. Here Again, here's another one. Look how clean this carpet came. I mean, as I'm getting closer up to the fibers, you remember how dirty this was? Okay, I'm gonna pan slowly so you can really get a good view here. Okay. Here we have, over here by the doorway, um, the carpet over here gets rubbed quite a bit. You can see how dirty the carpet was. This is how dirty the carpet was. Okay, before I used the one cup of extra tough to the three gallons of water in the rug doctor. So considering that a lot of this is just, it's pretty, pretty worn and it's pretty worn into it, right? But considering how black it was, I mean, that looks pretty amazing. So I'm going to take, um, there we go, a little bit of full strength, extra tough to those dark places. Remember how dark the hallway was? Look how beautiful that turned out. And I'm going to just touch up a few of those dark places with full strength, extra tough and a brush. And I just want to see if I can make them look any better. Now the carpet is still wet, so anytime the carpet is wet, it's always going to look darker. And when it dries, it will always look brighter. But see how dirty that carpet was? That's how dirty it was right here. 
and then you see how clean it came. So if I go along the baseboard where I was not able to actually get the extractor in there, the rug doctor, you can see how in some of those places, look at that, unbelievable. That's how all the doorways looked. Like over here, that's what they looked like. Okay, so I think it's pretty miraculous. I would have to say this is one of the most incredible transformations I've ever personally seen. Of course, I've not cleaned anything this severely dirty ever before. So I'm gonna work at a couple of those spots, see what happens, and then we'll let it dry and we'll show you the final view. Okay, so I have full strength extra tough in here and I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna spray some of this here just to see if I can make this get any better. I do not know if this is going to look better or not. This is strictly an experiment. <clears throat> I'm always experimenting with extra tough just to push its limits and see you know, what kind of cleaning power I can actually get out of this chemical. I found it to um, clean a lot of things. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can topically kind of agitate this just a little bit and then I'm going to use the extractor again to see if this comes out any better. This may be the absolute best this is ever going to get. It's a very old carpet. Um, it's been in here for a really long time and <laughs> I don't think it's ever been cleaned. So just looking at the scrubbing itself, I'm just not sure. It's hard to really kind of get into those fibers because it's the Berber carpet, you know? So it makes it a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna take the extractor and see if I can't make that look a little bit brighter. Um, and then I'll show you the after results. So I'm gonna back up with the camera for a second and just kind of let you see the carpet. It's not terrible, especially compared to where it was. I think it looks pretty great. So we're gonna extract and see what happens. So I sprayed this whole area with full strength extra tough that was up here by the uh, door. And, and I do believe that once I use the extractor, um, it actually turned out a lot brighter. I think that looks really good. So I'm going to show you what is still coming out of the carpet machine. Okay, this carpet um, is pretty significantly dirty. I'm going to empty this here. Oops. See? That is what's still coming out of this carpet as I continue to extract it. Um, the dirt inside of this carpet is so severe, I probably could spend, honestly, all day continuing to extract. Here is another view of where it is at in its current state. I'm going to continue to work at it a little bit just to see how much cleaner I can make it.